Is this an autoimmune disease? No, it really isn't. An autoimmune disease is one in which the person's own immune system attacks some part of their body or an organ. There's no attacking going on here, and there's no um, fighting from the person's immune system against a part of the body. Uh, so in, in no way really uh, does this fulfill the requirements of an autoimmune disease. This is a little bit of a tricky question, but no, cutaneous lymphoma is not an autoimmune disease. When I think about autoimmune diseases, I consider the diseases that develop because of somebody's immune system noticing itself as being foreign and the immune system attacks the body. In the situation of cutaneous lymphoma, it is comprised of lymphocytes, which are part of our immune system, and they are misbehaving, but they're misbehaving because they have a dysregulated growth pattern and are malignant cells, so they aren't attacking the body because they think it is a foreign substance. It is simply because it's growing dysregulated because it's a cancer. No, cutaneous lymphomas are not autoimmune diseases. However, they can be associated with autoimmune diseases, as is similar with other systemic lymphomas. One of the interesting and important parallels to draw are some of the key features you see in autoimmune diseases and how they can overlap with things such as cutaneous lymphoma. In individuals who have autoimmune diseases, we tend to see overactivity of the immune system, relative underactivity of the immune system, and predisposition to things such as infections and malignancies. Interestingly, in individuals who have both cutaneous and non-cutaneous lymphomas, they can have some of those same parallels. We note that individuals with cutaneous lymphomas and systemic lymphomas do have overall increased risk of approximately 8 to 10% of having underlying autoimmune disease.